Hello guys, what's up? So today in this video, I'm going to talk about some of the fixes to the issues which are happening in the game, The Last of Us Part 1 for PC, which released on March 28th. And by far, this is the worst PC port that Sony PlayStation has done. So today in this video, I'm going to talk about not enough memory or memory leak fix, game crashing fix, loading fix, shaders taking longer time to complete, news on more updated patch fix that could be coming from Sony PlayStation. So this is about Sumit Charismatic. Let's get started. But firstly, most importantly, and the mandatory thing is that you must use an updated game graphics driver for this game for gamers using nvidia you must have an updated driver version of 531.41 and for amd gamers you must have an updated driver version of 23.3.2 this is the mandatory thing that you must be having install these drivers and restart your system now let's talk about the first issue fix which is related to not enough memory or memory leak fix for this what you have to do you have to search for sysdm.cpl without the codes and then you have to select the advanced tab go under the performance and then you have to select the advanced tab and click on change under virtual memory and you have to check automatically manage paging file size for all drivers this will automatically make sure your system understands the requirement which your game is having and this will solve a lot of issues especially the issues with memory make sure you save the change and restart your system now let's talk about the second issue fix which is related to game crashing fix now this is happening because the game is not utilizing all the resources from your nvidia processor instead the game is using your intel processor for so for this what you have to do you have to go to the control panel of your graphics card you have to go to the 3d settings and under manage 3d settings program settings you have to choose the game the last of us part one and most importantly what you have to do you have to make sure and check the high performance nvidia processor so this will do what this will make sure your game takes and utilizes all the resource from your graphics card processor and not from from your intel processor this is very much important and hopefully the crashing of the game stops now moving on to the next issue which is a loading issue and this is primarily resolved by the updated patch fix of 1.0.1.5 and 1.0.1.6 so make sure you install this patch and restart your system now the most important thing and the most important issue is with the shaders shaders taking longer time to complain now even after the updated patch fix or 1.5 and 1.6 this issue is still there and then there, there is no resolution till now what you have to do you have to be patient you have to make sure that the shaders are completed to 100 percent do not launch or play the game before the shaders are completed you have to spend your one hour or one and a half hour depending upon your system and make sure the shaders are completed because this is the most important thing now let's talk about more updated patch fix yes more updated patch fix are going to come but those are not going to improve the performance of the game because in build the game has so many issues it has high requirement 4 gb of your gpu is not able to make your you run the game in high setting or medium setting in build the game has been designed in such a way that it needs higher system requirements so for low system these updated patch fix would not make those huge changes this game needs high specification and one or two updated patch fix might come but that would not drastically improve the game that will still have because the game is still buggy it has so many issues so these updated patch fix will not make that improvement but still slight improvement that's what the expectation is currently 4 gb of gpu you need at least 6 gb to make sure your game runs in medium otherwise it will still run in low these updated patch fix will not do anything but still you can expect one or two updated patch fix for shaders i don't think so they will bring the updated patch fix let's see what happens let me know in the comment section what you guys feel about this what are the issues that you are facing hopefully these all fixes will help you see you in the video bye, -bye. take care keep supporting keep loving our next target is 11k subscriber hopefully we achieve that as soon as possible so if you haven't subscribed to my channel kindly subscribe it see you in the video bye, -bye. take care keep supporting keep loving and always keep gaming